why the New York Knicks should not trade for LeBron James. Recently, there's been some rumors about LeBron potentially wanting to go to the Knicks in the future. And although a lot of fans are extremely excited of the prospect of LeBron finally being on the New York Knicks, in my personal opinion, I don't think the Knicks should touch this guy. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. LeBron's career has been incredible so far. The fact that he was able to put up so many points on any given night very efficiently, even recently becoming the guy to score the most points in NBA history, the fact that he was able to facilitate as well as he did in the playoffs, but also of course during the regular season, play as good defensively as he did earlier on in his career, have so much longevity in his career like we've seen from him, has just been incredible. And when you look at the story of LeBron's career, it's pretty clear that this guy is one of the greatest players of all time. And during his years of play, any team that was lucky enough to have him on the roster was lucky enough to say so. Like the Miami Heat, the Cleveland Cavaliers in two different stints, and also more recently, the Los Angeles Lakers. But recently, there's been some rumors from LeBron himself, actually, that he may potentially want to move on from the Lakers and go to the New York Knicks finally. As there were a ton of rumors about him going to New York in 2010, but of course, as we all know at this point, but maybe after all these years, LeBron is finally getting that itch to play in the garden full time and play for the New York Knicks. So a question that some of you may be having at this point is why do I not like the prospect of the Knicks bringing in LeBron James? Well in my opinion it comes down to a couple different factors, but the first factor that I want to touch upon is the actual trade. Because if you're going to trade for LeBron James, you're going to need to move out a lot in order to get him. And when you look at what the Knicks are currently doing at this point with Jalen Brunson, OG Ananobi, Julius Randle, some other guys they have on the roster as well, they have a really good thing going for them. And although I I definitely do think they need maybe one or two additional pieces on this roster to legitimately compete for a championship. At the end of the day, it's pretty clear that these guys have a really nice future ahead of themselves and they have a really nice core currently on the roster. So if you're going to trade for LeBron James, you're definitely going to need to move on from some of those core players. Whether that's Julius Randle, whether that's OG Ananobi, whether that's some of your other supplementary guys like Dante DiVincenzo, Quentin Grimes, or maybe even some other guys on the roster, basically at the end of the day, my point is you're going to need to move on from some very valuable pieces that have helped your team get to the point where they're at today. And I definitely do think that would disrupt what the New York Knicks are currently doing at this point. So based upon that factor, I definitely do not think the Knicks should trade for LeBron James. But the next factor that I want to touch upon is the overall disruption LeBron would bring to the Knicks. And I know this is somewhat of a similar concept to the first factor, but I'm saying if the Knicks are able to bring in LeBron without even trading for him or without even giving up all that much for for him, I still don't necessarily think I would want LeBron to be on this roster. And the reason why I say that is if LeBron is on this roster currently exactly the same as it is right now, I do think there would be a lot of disruption and a lot of good that we're seeing from the Knicks currently at this point could potentially be hindered. Because when you look at what the Knicks have right now, their starting lineup is Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, OG Ananobi, Julius Randle when he's healthy, and of course OG when he's healthy as well, and Mitchell Robinson when he comes back from injury. But if you were to add LeBron James to the same roster, of course OG Ananobi is probably going to be coming out of the starting lineup. And the reason why that's significant is because A, LeBron's going to take the ball out of Jalen Brunson's hands significantly, he's going to take the ball out of Julius Randle's hands significantly, and also you're losing a top 5 individual defender in OG Ananobi. Now of course he's still going to be playing off the bench, and of course you could play him in clutch time situations, but at the end of the day, I just was a huge fan of how that unit ran. That starting unit that I mentioned. And even if you want to take out Mitchell Robinson and put in Isaiah Hartenstein, at the end of the day, either way, I really was a huge fan of that lineup. And the Knicks were able to go 12-2 and or 14-2 and in the month of January with that lineup. So clearly, a lot of things are working for this New York Knicks team. But the next factor that I want to touch upon is I don't necessarily think LeBron at this stage of his career is still capable of being the best player on a championship level team. Because when you look at LeBron's career, whether you talk about the Cavs his first time, whether you talk about 
with that Miami Heat, the Cavs the second time, even the Lakers earlier on, he always was the best player on a championship caliber team. But in my opinion, at this point, based upon a couple different factors, based upon injuries, based upon the fact that sometimes in certain games, he looks like he is descending a little bit. At this point, I don't necessarily know if LeBron is still capable of being the best player on a championship level team. And if you're the New York Knicks and you're bringing in this guy, of course, he's going to be your best player. He's going to have the ball in his hands most of the time. He's going to be scoring for himself. He's going to be facilitating for others. Most of the time, he's going to have the ball. And if he's not capable of being the best player on a championship level team, I just don't necessarily think it's worth it to try to trade or even try to bring in LeBron James. Now, a counter argument that some of you may be making at this point is both Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle might also not be the capable of being the best player on a championship level team. But in my opinion, even if those two guys are not currently at this point, and even if they never get to that level, at the end of the day, if you keep your core roster together, you definitely have the possibility and capability of bringing in another player that may help your team out. Maybe it's a role player, maybe it's a starter, maybe it's even a star or a superstar to your roster via free agency without breaking down the consistency and the core that you already have on your roster. So in my opinion, even if both Jalen Brunson and Randall currently at this point are not good enough to win you a championship, I still at the same time think it's worth it to keep this core together in order to improve this core as the years to progress together. But also even on top of that, it also gives you the possibility of getting star players in free agency. Or maybe if there's a perfect trade opportunity, you can do that. But I think there are other trades out there and there's other players out there that would probably make more sense to bring into this roster as opposed to bringing in LeBron James. So overall, I will say I am extremely excited based upon what I've been seeing from this Knicks team, based upon the current roster that they have, based upon the future potential they may have because a lot of their guys are still relatively young, and based upon the potential of them bringing in the superstar via free agency or maybe even via trade if it makes sense. And at this point, although it would be really cool to see LeBron James in a New York Knicks uniform, at this point, I don't necessarily think it's worth it to bring this guy in. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening for both LeBron James and the LA Lakers to see where they go from here, to see where they go in the playoffs if they make it to the playoffs, and also to see where the New York Knicks go. If they can make it far in the playoffs, if they could potentially compete for a championship this year, if they get better in the long-term future, there definitely are still a lot of questions that are yet to be answered. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening for both of those teams. But I will say I am extremely excited to see what does end up happening with both of those situations. But I will say regardless of what happens throughout the rest of LeBron's career, LeBron's career was absolutely amazing and every fan that was able to watch him live or even on TV was extremely lucky to see him. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think at this stage of LeBron's career it makes sense for the New York Knicks to trade for this guy? Or do you think it makes more sense for the Knicks to not trade for LeBron, continue with the young core they have and build through the draft and build through free agency? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time, peace out guys.